Welcome back guys to Hashashin's Screed and uh, yeah of course our Arsenius the Wise, the Grand Headmaster of the Assassins and we have just in the last episode decided to declare three wars at once and it's gonna go well. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go well. We have tons of money that we're making and yes Elodia did join in. I somehow knew that was gonna happen. I somehow knew that was gonna happen um, but that's okay. We will declare an invasion on him soon enough as well shouldn't really be a problem i can apparently raise another army of assassins that's insane that's just insane i mean i know we know how how weak these guys are to be fair but still that is actually pretty insane you know what i will do that immediately let's go ahead raise another army of assassins we have ten thousand men just like that just like that all right we'll send you over here Wow, 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 simply wow. Um, that's 10,000 men. So it, it basically, the only limiting factor uh, to this is obviously our monthly income. We need to be able to support that army. But at the same time, it's basically just our divine power. We can just spam these guys out. If you have enough money to support this, this kind of army, all you need to do is, is just... You know, get this, get this, uh, you know, divine power up. And I, I believe, now this is actually one thing I would like to know. Do you get to keep your army um, upon death? This is actually kind of interesting. So we'll uh, just quickly siege this guy. Yeah, that's pretty easy. 10,000 men. Oh my god, this is overpowered. This is truly overpowered. Well, the force demands, of course, we've taken that land over. Now this is tribal holding, which is the wrong... Which is the wrong, yeah, type. But I think I'll just still hold on to it for now. Because, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of want to hold on to it. Also, this guy is no longer in the war. So I think I can now declare our invasion of Nubia. Yes. So, now, let me quickly check out what the kingdom is down here. This is Nubia. Huh. Alright, could I also declare a war on you? An invasion of Abyssinia. Wow, that would be for the entire kingdom. Alright, so what if we... If we win this war, takes or vassalizes all title in the Kingdom of Abyssinia belonging to King David. Now, why is it vassalize? I'm not really sure. And also, that would probably mean... Hmm... Do we, we, we would be independent. If we take over the kingdom, which I'm not too sure if we get the kingdom title or not, but that means that we would be independent, I, I believe. I'm actually not too sure. Um, but you know what? We're gonna find out. Let's declare this war. We will go for the invasion of Nubia, which I can't do because I need a party of thousand. I see. Okay. Well, all right. That's actually that's actually our prestige. This is our piety. All right. Well, in that case, you guys can just you can just attack. Yeah. Why not? I mean, here's the thing. These guys cost us a lot of money uh, monthly, but other than that. That's fine. They, they don't cost any manpower or stuff. So that's that's good. Alright, we'll assault this as soon as we can. We actually had 100, so never mind. We'll just piece you out. Perfect. And this is... Oh, wow, we've also taken over the mosque and the city. Alright, so I believe we'll, we'll take out this city. Or we'll make the city uh, create a new vassal here for sure. Because we can't hold that. And... I might, well, you know what I might want to do, if there's a possibility for us to get, um, declare a subjugation war, if there's a possibility for us to become a king, then I would very much like to use that opportunity, and, uh, well, yeah, have a merchant republic, so I might want to give this entire thing to this guy Hafez uh, yes all right also my marshal tells me that say Fuller has improved he has he's a stutterer but apparently he's a he's becoming a better commander um, he increased by two and he also gained the heavy infantry leader trait very nice very nice indeed okay so yeah we're actually losing quite a lot of money we're being attacked as well which is kind of funny that's, I don't know why, but I find that funny. Alright, we'll attack. And 
Wow, another one of our commanders is getting better. And this guy actually gets Siege Leader trait. Ah, oh, that's nice. This is, this, the Siege Leader trait as well as Organizer are the two best martial traits you can get. They're just so good. Uh, it's, yeah, it's crazy. All right, well, we'll salt this as well. Wow, this is just, this is just amazing. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure. This is a holy war, right? Yeah, so we'll just enforce demands. We should be able to take over everything as well. Ah, right. oh, no, I just made the mosque. Ah, oh, fine, yeah. I was, I, I actually did not want to give out the mosque, but that's fine. So do I actually get piety uh, from holding mosques? I would like to, I do, one mosque in domain, piety, actually no, but if it's in my domain, actually I do get piety from that. Alright, so I guess I'll keep, I hold on to the mosques, because, yeah, I'm not sure, I think the mosques are actually better than the, uh, than the castles, is that true? I, I don't think so, base tax is 12, base tax is 8. Base tax is 24. And base troops. Total level is 7. Wait, what? Well, that's not a whole lot. Garrison size 549. 430. Alright, so I believe... I believe the way it is... Cities make the most money. Uh, castles have the most troops. And mosques or churches or whatever are kind of in between. So... Maybe I want to keep a few mosques just for the extra money. I mean, after all, most of our troops we can just get by raising, uh, by by yeah, by raising these guys. I mean, that that is gonna make us so many more people. I mean, I could just raise another host of five thousand men. That's so insane. Oh, okay. One thing I just noticed though. Oh, uh, okay. So here's the thing. So you can raise these men, but as soon as you end your war, you lose all your troops. Okay, okay, so that's a bit balanced at least. That's a bit balanced. So basically what I could do is I could save up uh, Divine Power. And yeah, I could just save up Divine Power uh, for like, I have like, I don't know, 2,000. And then I could spam out 20,000 troops just like that at once. That's kind of insane. All right. Wow, I like it. All right, and our Fatimid Sultan. We, You know what? I might actually want to join our Fatimid Sultan here. I'll have... Uh, why is this guy still a thing? Can I... No, can I convert him? Why not? Hmm. I don't like this guy. Uh, hmm. what? Why is he even like... Can you go away? I would like to not have him anymore. Could I abduct him? Sure. Because I actually don't want to have him. Relieve him as a commander. Because he is not the right religion. I would like to... Uh, I'd like to attempt to abduct him. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, excellent. This might take a while. But last time uh, with the lady, that actually went quickly. And we can observe Ramadan. Now, this will cost money, as I said. But it's going to give us piety. And I kind of want a thousand piety. Just so that... Uh, just so that we can uh, get this... Get this invasion started, right? Anyway, uh, now's the time for prayers and devoted and devoted reading of the Quran. Now, I actually know the Quran uh, by heart. I've memorized it, so I don't need to read it, but I guess I still do it for the fun of it. After the sun has set, you could recite the Quran through Taravith prayers. Um, yes, I will. Thus draw nearer to Allah. Sure, yeah, extra piety. 666, there it is. Satan... Uh, worshippers or whatever. Uh, Lucifer's own, I think they're called? What's that secret society called again? Let, let, let me quickly check that out. Lucifer's own, yes, there we are. But of course, we don't care. We have our own society. Alright, so my brethren are not having much luck in their attempts to abduct Barbak. Perhaps the assassins are not influential enough to pull it off. Should I call it off? No, we'll have to be patient. Now, this is also one thing that, uh, that I haven't really talked about, is the society influence. Um, yeah, they basically lower, decre decrease the cost of various powers, um, and also affect the outcome of some powers and events, which is kind of interesting, but it's really difficult to get the influence up, because you need Intrigue, which is only giving a small boost, 
And then having successful missions, yeah, well, you can see we have a few failed missions as well. So that's it's actually kind of difficult to get that up high. But we'll see. Maybe there's some other ways to do it. Anyway, the strict fast you have been observing during the daylight hours of Ramadan has weakened you to the point of illness. As the ill are exempted from fasting, there would be no shame or loss of piety if you abandoned the fast and made up for the loss, lost days at a later time. If you continue ever, there could be serious repercussions to your health. Now, I think since we're a craving guy, uh, I think we will just recover. Um, yeah, the fast ends. We will get more piety for this, but um, then again... No, I think we'll not risk it. This is such a great character, I would really like to be able to have him uh, for as long as possible. It was still... Oh, come on. Oh, fine. We still got sick. Oh, well. Uh, at least I'm glad I hired that guy, because apparently he's doing a good job. Yes. And never mind, we actually got really, really sick. That's very unfortunate. That is truly unfortunate. Okay, now, we've taken over all of this land. What am I going to do with this Jew? Yeah, I probably want to declare an invasion here. Or maybe a holy war wouldn't be bad. I mean, I, I think I can only declare one invasion. We'll approve the plan here. Yes, last time it worked out quite well. Excellent, this worked as well. And now, what to do with him? Now, if I banish him, we gain 5 gold. I can demand religious conversion. Actually, that might be what I want to do. Because he's a, he's, a he's a good commander. He's even just. And temperate as well. He's temperate and greedy, which is kind of interesting. But, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's demand religious conversion. And, uh, oh no, we have cancer. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well... Uh, here it is. Our cool physician has come to see us and offers treatment. So, I think... I trust your knowledge. He will perform a mystical treatment. The outcome of this treatment is uncertain. The risk of this treatment will vary depending on his capabilities. He's not very skilled, to be honest. And we are craven. Um, this is the well-tested. Only what's necessary is... Uh, I think this is the low risk. Oh, this is the one. Being left to our own devices. No, I think that's stupid. I think we might do... Please do only what is necessary. But I think before we do that, we'll do something completely different. We'll actually smoke some stuff. Yes. Yeah. Mm, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, There is wisdom and... Mod well, you know what? This has not worked for us. This has not worked for us, although I believe this may have been a bug. So we'll just strive for balance and see what happens now. Perhaps we're always going to get a bad result, simply because we're craven. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. And here, we'll go for what is necessary, and we'll see how that goes. Um, you have converted, which is great, because now I can uh, make you a... Mm -hmm. Well, Chief Architect, are you good in anything? I'll make you my... Fine, I'll make you my architect. Sure. Why not? Let's see who we can appoint for musician. Actually, one of our vassals. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I see. You know what? This guy is not part of the assassins. Hold on. Let's see. This guy, he's a much better steward. I would like him to take care of this stuff. And can I recruit him to the assassins? Yes. Let's try that. Let's try and recruit more people to our order, especially good stewards. And maybe we have a battle grand vizier as well. Mm, yeah, he's better. Fine, we'll take you and you can just chill. I think there's no need for you to do anything special. Maybe there's even a better marshal out there? Not really. Okay, good. And apparently, Adahan uh, has told us to lie down on your bed and offer... And we offered him our hands. Firmly he rubbed and slapped your palms until they were red. And then repeated the treatment on your souls. Uh, as a finished souls. Like the feet thing, right? Not the soul. Anyway. As a finishing touch, he pinched you gently up and down your limbs. And apparently that worked out. Well, I'm glad to for once see someone. Uh, a court physician who doesn't kill himself. Or cut off my foot. In order to cure cancer. So I, I'm, I'm kind of glad. Uh, in, these, in the darkness of smoke... Of my smoke-filled room. I wonder what the point of it all is. I was supposed to see paradise. Instead, I see the truth. And it has left me empty. 
Oh, come on. Well, that didn't really work out. I thought I might get hungry from this, but not lazy. Fine. Alright. Uh, I was just about to draft an invitation when Mayor Havas invited you to dine with him. Okay, so a conversation for easily uh, expressed many admirable sentiments. However, when I mentioned those willing to die, he sneered and condemned such fanatics. Okay, so apparently he's not wanting to join us. And... Yeah, we now have terrible visions again. So, I, I, I believe if you are, if you are paranoid, um, it will, I think if you're paranoid, these visions could get even worse. But if you're craving, you're just always going to get that. So we're not going to smoke any more weed for now because that's kind of scaring the shit out of me. So we'll stop that. Um, but apparently we have improved. I could become a cavalry leader. Uh, light foot. I think, yeah, we have a lot of light infantry. Our super troops that we can raise during war are all light infantry. So I would probably go for that. Yeah, because that, they're going to make up the majority of our troops for the most part. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. Also, mm, I should probably get rid of that mosque. Ah, oh, right, I wanted to keep it, didn't I? Hmm. Now, I could make the mosque my capital and gi give this away. Base tax, tax, fort level. Fort level is pretty shit in the mosque. It's... and it's not... It's not like the tax is that much better. Well, it's actually... no, it's actually better. Alright. I think what I will do is make this the new... Uh, mm, can I do that? Apparently I cannot... Oh, make county capital. Yes. And I can give out this. Create a new vassal. Yes. So this guy should be now Persian Shia. Yes. Alright, perfect. And he's actually pretty decent. Look at that. Let's see if he wants to join the assassins. That'd be nice. Because he's a pretty diligent guy. Alright. Um, so, as I praised those willing to die, he agreed wholeheartedly. Alright, well, that sounds like he's going to join as well. And uh, when I suggested there's a way to serve the greater good, he only scoffed dismissively and changed the subject. So apparently, he wants to join, but he's kind of a craven. Although he's brave. Huh. Well, that's fine. It didn't work out. Oh, well. Oh, very well. We're also still at war. Our uh, sultan is fighting this guy in a subjugation war. Now, I think what's going to happen, if he wins, he's simply just going to take this guy on as a vassal. I imagine that's what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's fine by me. I just want to take over this land down here. And I would also like for our, our sultan here to become, well, to, to become an emperor tier dude. He's known as the Persevering, because he's also quite old. Yeah, and he's he's been through a lot of shit. Look at that. Yeah, one-eyed and one-handed. Well, at least he both ha he still has two legs, so that's good for him, I suppose. But yeah, I would very much, I would very much like to uh, just take all over all of this. Perhaps we can even become a king, so that I can have a merchant uh, republic here somewhere. That'd be really cool. But for that, I would also need a duchy. Is there a duchy I can create? I should be. I actually have three out of four titles. Why can I not create that duchy? Hmm. I wonder. Let me quickly check that out. Why can I not create this duchy? Um, special title holders cannot create or usurp equal or higher rank titles. Interesting. So I cannot even become a king. I cannot even do it. Okay, so I can only conquer this stuff, but I can never become a king. So I should probably be able to declare this invasion and then... Basically, I just take over everything without becoming a king. I, I imagine that that is what's going to happen. All right. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll try. We'll find out. Uh, I could probably also stand down my troops, couldn't I? That thousand strength right now, and we also yeah, we're actually getting building up some domain troops slowly but surely. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, what is our moral authority? So. We have Paragons of Virtue, uh, and Paragon of Enlightenment as well. Rulers led astray, minus six, that's pretty bad. But one Holy Wars is keeping it up there, so we're at 25%. That's not too bad, but it's not great either. Now, I wonder if I should maybe help out our 
Caliph here because he seems to be busy with other things. But anyway, I think that's something we'll have to uh, find out in the next episode. We'll basically just strengthen the grip of the Fatimids uh, over Abyssinia. I think I will basically single-handedly just conquer all of this with our uh, super assassin troops. And we'll have a huge realm that, you know, a huge realm of people that are following us. It's going to be kind of cool. Anyways, that was it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope that you will join me next time as well.